ground by Beckham. Giants in the Heinz red zone, the official catching of the Giants. And settled for a field goal the first time. Bradshaw in the one back. And up Bradshaw, scoring left, cuts at the 10, dives inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Before he gets tripped up with seven minutes to go in the second, Jaguars up 10-3, Giants threatening. You know, these game players look serious. Justin, I have to ask you, some of your teammates have talked about your speech at halftime. Now, look, I know it's a family show, and you've got to clean it up and give me the abridged version, but I'm going to ask you for that abridged version. What happened? Hey, basically, what I said was, you know, this is our house, and, you know, I don't allow, you know, nobody that's welcome. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a very generous guy. They know I let, I let people come to my house and eat my food, and, you know, if you need a place to stay, I, I let you do that, too. But, you know, those are visitors. You know, they, they're not allowed to, you know, come in and do what they want to do. And right now in that first half, they were doing what they wanted to do in our house, so we couldn't allow them to do that no more. Uh, it was just, you know, looking at each man, man to man. And regardless of what the play call or what it was, we had to get on the same page and make sure that, you know, we picked our energy up. Because the first half, we came out flat. We didn't have no passion, we didn't have no energy. And, um, you know, it was just, you know, Hopefully it was just something just a lot of spark and it worked for us. You know, Justin, those are benchmarks or watermarks for guys who develop as leaders. Okay. What, is, what does that tell you? This is a hot topic going into the season, Carl, is the leadership on this team. Who is going to be the leader? Who is going to step up? Antonio Pierce is no longer here. Um, and Justin Tuck really took the bull by the horns. And, and the sound bite, I know you were upstairs. You thought, no, I heard it. Oh, when he said, when Barry Cofield said he had guys foaming at the mouth to yeah. get back. You love to hear something well, you, like that. You do, because it's, you know, this is, you know, if you don't anoint leaders, they kind of emerge. And, you know, adverse situations is normally the environment for which leaders start to emerge. And, and this is something, you, you know, you're happy to see. You have Andrew Rose, more of a vocal leader. You have a guy who's yeah, kind that of just tells you. Tom Brady's doing this on his own. I'm sure Giselle is like... You do think Giselle and Andy is doing it? No, no, I... According to what I read today, she does. No, no, I've heard you have something to do with it, but you have to want to do it yourself to a degree to continue it, because Tom Brady, as a superstar millionaire quarterback, can say, listen, Giselle, all right, I'm going to shave my head, or I'm going to go with the ball spot love, right. and you got to deal with it. Right. I think there's a part of Tom Brady who's always been the pretty boy, and he's always been the pretty boy, okay. Who's, you know, on the cover of magazines and all that garbage, who wants it himself. I mean, he, and you know what the problem is? This is very Michael Jackson, okay? Michael There's Jackson a had, you had, a surge, had surgery on his nose. And he kept having surgery on his nose because he was so obsessed with his nose. Well, he Tom, wanted it to look like Diana Ross. Well, that too, probably. <laughs> but Tom Brady is going too far with this. I mean, his hair is insane. Like, I understand you're losing your hair, Tom. But you can do it in a nice, I'm telling way. You, I mean, he's got my like, hair all over the place. Giselle is falling to shots here. Bob, I mean, a oh, come on. You don't you think, think he wants it too? I, well, I mean, I guess he's only really obsessed good. with what he looks like. He's a metrosexual, as they call him. You ever heard that phrase? Yeah, I have. Guys who no, are, I don't are very in touch with they're, they're dressing. Not, yeah, they're, straight, they're straight guys, but they are in touch with their femininity, if you want to That's say That's what he is. Okay. Clearly, Gina wants four years. He asked for five if you want four. The Yankees offer three. Do they have to guarantee the fourth or we can get by on a workable set of options and, you know, makeable incentives and options where, based on play, based on at-bats, based on, you know, relative performance, using this theory that if he is going to play X number of games or get X number of at-bats over the three years of the contract, that means he's performing well enough. Otherwise, he would be out of the lineup in the second year. So with that being the case, if you can have X number of at-bats or X number of games played as a way to kick the fourth year in if the first couple of years, like the Yankees, like the uh, Mets did with Glavin years ago, where it was based on how many innings he pitched over the first couple of years, and it kicked in a very good last year of the contract. Same thing with Jeter. You could say if he gets... 500 at bats each season on the fourth year the money would kick in at the same price for the fourth year guaranteed based on the first three years now you can't do it like